Hi, honey. Hey, mommy. And when I finish my book in December, I... Don't joke like that. Haven't had a drink on a weeknight in two weeks. Came up with a new slogan. Write sober, rewrite sober, rewrite sober. Hemingway, it's not, but it's good to smooth things over with Linda and Tommy a bit. Gotta admit, I don't miss hangovers, but still. I do sometimes miss sitting down with a drink and a crazy idea. Anne, I'm going to cut right through the pleasantries and ask you, who is this Ryan that Mom mentioned on the phone? Someone new? Are you trying to keep it a secret, or did it just slip your mind the last time we talked? Spill it! Things here are moving along, I guess. When we came up, I thought it would be great to have more dedicated time to paint, but I didn't realize it would be so isolating. I miss having more people around and having new ideas floating about. I got lucky in town last week though. I found an artist co-op called Makeshift and it seems really interesting. It's not too big, but there are lots of different types of artists there. I'll probably call and try to get more details. I don't remember if I told you this, but I've been thinking about going back to painting full time. Anyway, enough about me. Tell me what's up with you. Love, Linda. I only met Rick once at a family reunion that must have been what, 15 years ago? Turns out he made his fortune by, get this, selling high-end pipes. The Sherlock Holmes kind, not the plumbing kind. He must have been a hell of an interesting guy. I mean, he found a niche and made his way in the world. You have to respect that. It makes me wonder, am I giving everything I have to this book or am I leaving myself an out? It isn't announced yet. I could always pull the plug. I'd never get another advance again, sure, but there isn't a gun to my head. Unless I put one there. Metaphorically, of course. What about your rocket? I already played with it. What? Whoa, what? What? It's right there. I finally got through to Dan, at least a little. He said I was nagging him, so I showed him the pamphlets Dr. Walker gave me. He couldn't explain away science, though he did try. I could tell he didn't like it, but he signed up to run two days a week. I wish it was more, but I'll take what I can get. Hi. Hi. Is 
Is there something out there? The entire world's out there. It's just... Did you see it? Things again?
Anne, I just got off the phone with Mom. She told me about Grandma Joe. I know we expected it sooner rather than later, but this is hitting me so much harder than when Granddad died last year. Do you remember going to Grandma Joe's house after school on Wednesdays and playing until Mom got off work? How Grandma Joe always had a surprise for us? Even if it was just cookies in the oven, she'd always time it so the whole house would smell like them when we got there. I hope the minister captures those little moments because they don't seem as little now. I wish the circumstances were different, but it will still be good to see you at the funeral. What am I saying? You probably won't even get this until after the funeral. I guess I just needed to write anyway. Love, Linda. Is she in heaven? I'm sure she is, honey. Hey, Daddy. Little guy. Just be here for me. Lynn, I'm so sorry. Tell me what I can do. Just got back from town with the latest issue. Flipped to the back and there it was. My book in the up next column. Stared at it for five minutes. Feeling in my stomach was not pleasant. But now it's out there. It's terrifying and irreversible. Maybe I should have placed a full ad. But even like this, the book is out there. Thousands of people are going to read that list. To them, the book is exactly what they want it to be. Some finished, beautiful thing. If only they could see it right now. A bunch of jigsaw pieces on the floor. And I've got to put them all together. Fast. <laughs>